Good morning, everyone. Thank you for starting the day out with me. I am excited to introduce you to my first guest this morning. He is one of my dear friends, and he is also one of my favorite people to watch on stage and hear sing. I truly admire him. He's fabulous, and he has also gone through so many obstacles in his life. However, he has an emerged with such a story of courage, of determination, and of perseverance. Ruben, thank you so much for being here thank today. Thank you. That's quite an introduction. I appreciate <laughs> it. Um, yeah, it's true. It's true. I don't know exactly how I ended up in Key West, but I've been very, very fortunate. I'm lucky to be here, and um, I get to count you as one of my friends, and I, I love that. You do know how you came to Key West, and you're going to share it with our viewers this morning. Before we talk about that, though, Ruben, a lot of people, they don't realize that you have quite the past in the high-end fashion industry in New York City. In fact, Ruben, you were the youngest visual merchandiser on Madison Avenue at the age of 27. That's very true. Um, I actually uh, paid my way through, through college in Dallas by working at the flagship, uh, flagship Neiman Marcus store in downtown Dallas. So, um, I mean, luckily a lot of the people that I was working with at that store migrated to New York City. So I left Dallas on a Sunday with $300 in my pocket, made a phone call, and had a job at Armani on Monday. Wow. So I feel very blessed, and, and luckily if you have a good work ethic, people keep hiring you. It's uh, fantastic. Well, good. Well, they knew a star when they saw a star, oh, Ruben. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, Ruben, how did Key West then come into your life? Well, I had been singing and dancing and acting in these shows, and luckily uh, in visual merchandising or brand imaging, you can go and come as an independent contractor. So I was singing all around the world and, and um, coming back to New York and doing three months at a time. And uh, I got a call from the producers of Naked Boy Singing, which is the second longest running off-Broadway show in the history of the theater, after the Fantastics. Uh, and you know, I went in, did my audition, and I got called back, um, not really knowing the extent of, you know, of what the show would entail, even <laughs> though it's named, it's called Naked Boys Singing. <laughs> but, um, you know, great thing, you, you never, you know, we never had to audition nude. We never even had to actually go full frontal, if you can believe it, <laughs> until the day before we were getting ready for our opening. So it was a little daunting, but you know, you get used to it. Yeah. Did that for seven years, and luckily when you've been doing it for that long, you know the show backward and forward, and if the producers decide to take a song out of the program, you can pick it up and go directly into whatever show. So I was doing the window-to-window -window track for Naked Boys Singing. Someone uh, had decided not to continue with their contract here, so I stepped in, came to Key West, and the rest is history. The rest is history. Yeah. Well, I love it that you did Naked Boys singing, Ruben. <laughs> I, when did I look back on, well, I did know that because I'm friends with you, <laughs> but when I look back on photos, Ruben, they were hilarious. Well, my, my favorite story <laughs> is I, I was actually uh, working in a very, very busy office uh, up, up the Keys, and I... Um, you know, I, I was busy doing what I was doing, and then all of a sudden our office manager looks at me and she said, I know you. <laughs> oh my goodness, I have seen you <laughs> naked. <laughs> <laughs> and it was about two months after I'd been hired, so yeah, that was very exciting. That's wonderful. You got notorious for naked boys singing. Oh, for a few different things. <laughs> for yeah. a few different things. But that was that was the you know that that's what actually brought me to Key West. Wonderful. Now, Ruben, you've been in Key West for a number of years now, and I, you've had some ups, you've had some downs. Well, I think the answer to that is not being able to get out of my own way. Uh, you know, in college, you know, I partied like the best of them, you know, like, like the hardest rock star, sex, drugs, rock and roll, you name it. And, um, you know, when, when, you, when you were burning the candle at both ends, you tend to, or I tended to, indulge more so that I could keep going. And, you know, and I, I think the biggest, my biggest downfall was, was you know, not being, uh, not being aware enough about my goals and my ambitions that I relied on outside influences like drugs and alcohol and people and um, you know just started going down the wrong path uh, you know and, and um, you know recognized again that I had these goals and ambitions and then you know came to um, understand that I despise cold weather I cannot stand cold weather 
So I had decided that I wanted to run to the sun. I wanted to be able to perform in a warm environment. I wanted to be able to perform, period. And um, I wasn't going to be able to do that with the direction that I was heading in. So, you know, a, a big part of it is, you know, n not being able to, um, to, to recognize that uh, I, I was worth uh, not doing all of those mm -hmm. bad things, you know, and, and um, I just had to stay out of my own way, mm -hmm. uh, grow up a little bit, and, you know, finally decide, you know, that this can't possibly be the, the end-all, be-all of situations here. Uh, plus, there's, there's so many incredible artistic avenues that, um, that can fill your time here, especially mm -hmm. if, you know, you, you do, uh, you know, manage to, to, you know, fall into a dark place. Mm -hmm. And luckily, I have some really, really good friends that, um, you know, that would always knock on that door, that would always give me the phone call, that would always say, you uh, need to step up and you mm -hmm. need to continue to do what it is that makes you happy mm -hmm. and what makes me happy is entertaining people and putting smiles on people's faces well you are so gifted in that area Ruben because you, you do you are one of the most amazing singers you have one of the most amazing voices you can dance you can act and you're just so fun to watch so I'm very glad that you love the Sun so much because the Sun kept you in Key West and what I admire about you Ruben is that You've been in those dark places, you've been in, you've had rough times, but you've managed to overcome them, and that's what it's all about. Well, it is, and you know, the, the, um, I just started a production company called Sol de Rey Productions, and in Spanish, it's kind of a mix of Spanish and French, because the um, conjugation is not correct, <laughs> but um, it's, um, Sol de Rey is the king's son and literally translated, but it, it just, it means so much to me, and I wanted to be able to start creating and to get back to my roots, which is directing and editing and, uh, you know, making sure that everything at an event or a production or one of my productions or a song is perfect. And I'm so impetuous that, uh, you know, I've, I've been, I've been creating and letting it go, and now, it's time to, you know, with this production company, focus and settle in to finally creating something really special and something really e elegant, not just for myself, but for other musicians and, you know, other people around town. Well, you'll do just that. I know you will with your production company. And then you'll also enhance venues where you will be singing at very soon in the future. We're going to take a quick break right now, but when we return from the messages, Ruben will tell us where we can catch him at here in Key West. Stay with us. There's much more to come today.